Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Drum Lessons, where we get her did in 5 minutes or less. On today's agenda, straight to the point, the paradiddle, okay? Paradiddle, very important rudiment. Now, firstly, the sticking. Two singles and a double. Right, left, right, right, and then the other side. Left, right, left, left. Let's look at it again. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. A great paradiddle, you want to come down hard on the first note, okay? So we have an accent, we're going to imagine 16th notes for this, so we're thinking 1, E, and, uh, 2, E, and, uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, okay? So accent on the beat, 1, E, and, uh, 2, E, and, uh, 3, E, and, uh, 4, E, and, uh, 1. The key to making your paradiddle sound musical is to play the accents nice and firmly and keep everything else down low to the pad, okay? So basically, you want to develop a nice paradiddle. Start here, just a couple inches above the pad. You're going to play a controlled stroke, so you're gonna, we're going to play an accent and control the rebound by having the fingers wrapped around the stick at the end of the stroke. You don't have your hand open because then you're going to lose control of the stick. So you control it, you start here, you want to control it so your stick lands right next to the left hand, so when you continue with the other notes, they're all going to be at the same volume and uh, nice and even. Okay, slow it down a little. Controlling the rebound, playing everything else nice and low. And you can see my hand that's gonna about to play the accent comes up as the double is being played on the other hand, okay? That's gonna give you a nice flowing movement as you play your paradiddle. And it's gonna translate to a nice sound in what you're playing. Be careful you're not playing, okay? Everything up kinda high. There's an accent there, but, but everything is kind of getting mixed together and it's going to be very difficult to develop speed that way uh, and to play musically that way. So again, nice and low when you're when you're not accenting notes and uh, yeah, start a little off the pad. Do it nice and slow. The better you can control that rebound and have that hand ready for the double that's coming up, uh, the, the better off you're going to be. So remember this and not this. Okay. Keep it low. Hope you got something out of it. Thank you for joining me. Joining me. See you on the next one.